If you are a hardworking Southerner, and country music has led me to believe that no Southerner ain't, then you look forward to Saturday morning when you have time to make a special decadent breakfast. And hell yes, cousin, sometimes that means shrimp and grits. So get ready for a piping hot bowl of down-home goodness this week on Random Knowledge. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time, so we made a video series. We're geeks who drink and we read stuff all the damn time. We read stuff all the damn time. This is Random Knowledge. Okay, so the really short scoop on grits. Once upon a time in the 16th century, the Muscogee people of what we now call the Deep South, they took some raw corn and ground it with stone until it was edible. European settlers and explorers were happy to accept this currency, and voila, grits. Now, skip ahead to 1975. After a long, dark age of grits being considered sort of pedestrian and gross, and we come to this guy. I made a dish uh, that was taken from a, a traditional Charleston dish, shrimp and grits. First time I put shrimp and grits on the menu, everybody thought that was the strangest thing they'd ever heard of. Now, if I don't have it on the menu, everybody complains. It's we delicious. came for shrimp and grits. <laughs> that is Bill Neal, the self-taught chef at Crook's Corner in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. He figured out that he could class up his grits by smothering them in jumbo shrimp, mushrooms, and bacon, which lo and behold, the rest of the world liked just fine. Flo started telling people to kiss her grits on the sitcom Alice in 1976. The New York Times food section reprinted Bill's recipe in 1985, and even Outkast couldn't resist name-dropping fish and grits in their top 40 hit from 96, AT Aliens. Now, technically, grits belong to a whole genre of milled corn foods. True grits come from white corn. If you use yellow corn, you get polenta. Or if you soak the dry corn in lye first to remove that hard hull, you get hominy. But grits are by far the creamiest and the best, and they are versatile as all get out. Southern Living Magazine has recipes for waffled grits, for cheesy grits and ale soup, and yes, even for pumpkin spice grits, which you can presumably serve up hot and basic in an Ugg boot. But most importantly, just like a wise man once told Joe Pesci, No self-respecting Southerner uses instant grits. What that means is that making grits is mostly just standing around and stirring. If you can boil water, or cream, or stock, or beer, then you can get yourself a free point at the quiz on this date. Check out geekswhodrink.com to find our live pub quiz in a bar near you. And in the meantime, do the liking and subscribing thing so you can catch us next season for another smooth, corny bowl of random knowledge. 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 Whatever. <laughs>